I have this silicone mold that I got off of Amazon. It's in the shape of a flower. And in the center here, the center of the flower is raised. So I'm just taking some metallic paint. This color is champagne gold and it's from DecoArt. And I'm just painting all over the raised areas of the silicone mold. And this is a baby wipe. I'm just wiping any that I got onto the flat part of the mold. And next I'm going to take my amazing clear cast high gloss epoxy. Now there's a side A and I have small cups here I get from the Dollar Tree and I'm filling side A into three of the top cups. Now there's a little indent on the cup and I'm using that as my marker. And then I'm taking side B and I'm pouring that into the bottom three cups. And I'm using the same marker on the side of the cup because when you mix epoxy, you want to make sure you have equal parts of side A and side B. And then I'm mixing those into one large cup. I'm taking one cup of side A, one cup of side B, and I'm mixing it together into one big cup. And I did that for all three parts that I measured. And when using epoxy, don't forget to wear a mask and some gloves. Now I got this mica powder from Michaels. It's meant to be mixed in with epoxy. And I got two different sets that had three colors in them. It comes with this little plastic spoon and I'm just going to dump a little bit into my first cup. And as you can see, this is like a teal color. In my second cup, I used like a bronzy gold. And then in my third cup, I just left that, just the regular clear epoxy. And then I like to just trim down my cups. It's just easier to pour for me. I then have these gold foil flakes. This color is copper. And this is also meant for epoxy. And I'm actually going to put a little in a cup and mix some epoxy right in it and stir it around. And I'm going to just dump that into the center of my silicone flour mold. And I'm just using a popsicle stick to stir everything and it's just easy to move the epoxy around. I'm then taking my gold epoxy and going around the outer edge of my mold. And I'm just going to use all of it. And as far as measuring, I really just eye it. If I need more, then I'll make more. But so far, I haven't mixed any. And then I'm going to take my teal epoxy and start from the foils and go around. And then I have a lighter gold that I'm going to mix into the rest of the clear epoxy I had. And I'm just going to fill in those gaps. So I'm basically going in layers. It does not have to fall perfect. But you do want to make sure that you have enough epoxy so that it can self-level, but that it doesn't overflow your mold. So I'm just taking my popsicle stick and kind of swirling the epoxy around. And I did mix some more clear, and I'm just dumping that on top to fill in all of my areas that didn't get enough epoxy. Now, as far as mixing epoxy, go by the instructions as every epoxy is a little different and there are several brands to pick from. So again, I'm just taking another popsicle stick and I'm just kind of twirling it through my epoxy and I'm just moving the different colors around. And then that's going to dry at least 24 to 48 hours. And then I'm going to remove it from my silicone mold. And this is how it dried. The paint stuck into the epoxy that we painted on those raised areas. And I really like the colors of this. Next, the silicone mold set came with these handles. So I'm just going to put them on the outer edge of my flower. And we're going to make this into a tray. I'm just using a drill. It drills right through the epoxy pretty nicely and easily. And then if you don't like the gold handles, you can buy a pair 
or the silicone mold set, which I'll get you guys a link, also came with some rubber handle molds. So you can even make your own epoxy handles, which I thought was pretty cool. And these silicone molds are all reusable. So I just screwed in the handles on both the left and right side of my flower. And then I just took my straight edge and I did the same thing with the second handle. And then this set also came with four silicone coasters, which look like this. And I just did the same exact thing. And now you have this fun flower tray with a set of coasters. I hope you enjoyed this video. Paint products can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials on our webpage as well. Have a great day.